Hey everybody, Len on the Matthew 419 channel. Um, I, I I ran into a friend today uh, who I used to work with, and I was aware of a, a mutual friend. In fact, uh, um, this mutual friend also used to live with me uh, for a period of time, and um, found out about a year and a half ago that he had an inoperable brain tumor. I don't remember if it's cancerous or not. Um, he has five children. Um, and, you know, I, I, I don't know, I, it's times like these I just can't help but think of certain things, um, uh, he, he doesn't know God, he, he, uh, in fact, um, he was burned pretty bad by a church and, and is totally hardened against the message of the Gospels. Um, he won't talk to me since I've become a Christian. Um, but I found out that, uh, according to his last doctor's visit, they they tried to um, do surgery to extract some of the tumor, and um, they were able to do s to get some out. But it uh, it was really to no avail. Um, they thought it would maybe extend his life or give him some hope, and it didn't. Um, and so he probably isn't going to be around for Christmas. And he's got five kids, probably aged like 11 to 20. And, uh, you know, there, there's there's a, a great deal of sorrow that I feel, um, you know, because he was a friend who I, I cared deeply for and I was close with his children. Um, and... You know, we shared a home for two years, you know, we got to know each other really well, we worked together that whole time. Um, I spent more time with him than I did um, my own children, well, child at the time, but nonetheless, um, you know, I, I'm just pretty sad today about it. And But there, there's the other part of me that thinks, you know, here's a guy, I'm going to be 40 this winter, and, you know, when usually when you die at 40 years old, um, a guy my age kiss your wife and your children goodbye and you leave for work and you never see him again. Uh, or, or worse yet, it's a, a fight. Things left unsettled or unsaid. It, it just makes me think, you know, <clears throat> I just don't know when that when that last day is coming. And you know what I believe. You know, if you've been watching my videos, I, this is not a preaching video. This is just me thinking out loud and, and thinking about this life and, you know, how this life affects, you know, in light of eternity. And, uh, I don't know. I, uh, I think about how this could, it could all be taken away. This could be anybody's last day. It could be mine. It could be one of my children. You know, I think about that like, you know, my wife and I putting the children to bed. And sometimes, you know, you get impatient because the kids get goofy and they get hyper. And, and uh, they have one last burst of energy f before bed. And, and every ounce of our energy has been spent on a day's work and homeschooling and, and things like that. And, and we don't have the energy to keep up with that. And, you know, sometimes fr you get frustrated and it boils over. And, um, you know, because we're human. And uh, I think about that like... Would I be this impatient if my son, who's three and a half, bucko, <laughs> if he had a leukemia diagnosis and we knew, like, there's a light at the end of this tunnel, you know?
You know, it's hard to even think about that. And, you know, to consider that that's a possibility for any of us should just give a radical change in perspective in that if, if that were the case, if that were the diagnosis, I would be in no hurry to get him tucked in and put to bed so I can have an extra hour with my wife or um, so I can watch some movie or, um, you know, edit my next YouTube upload or start a Google Hangout or read scripture or, or pray or anything like, like, you know, I just want to have that perspective all the time. And you forget because, you know, life is happening two inches in front of your face. And sometimes you don't even look past that. So, I, uh, I don't know. I mean, if today was your last day, or if you were given a diagnosis, or, or one of your children, you know, what would you, what would you, what would you want to say? What would you make sure, like, I do not want to go to the grave without my family knowing this, or I wouldn't want my child going to the grave, or my spouse, without them knowing this. And of course, what most people are going to say is, you know, an expression of love and, and how much we love them and care for them. Yeah, I don't know. I just... I just hope it's... Something everyone gives some thought to. That's what's it's on my mind today. So sorry about the emotional. Um, obviously, I'm not typically like this on YouTube, but in my real life, I do tend to wear my emotions on my sleeve a little more. So thanks for watching. Think about that. And, uh, Leave comments. I'm interested to know what you think.